Okay, hi guys, uh, we're back. Uh, what are we talking about in this video? We are discussing the documents you require for uh, the whole admission applying process. to Dow, JSMU or any other medical college and the NTS thing. Before we start this, let's just tell them that uh, what are the documents we are going to tell. This is only for the medical college ke application. When you apply for NTS, ke liye alag apna, uh, apply karna hota, NTS test. Ke liye. NTS basically you have a test conductor. NTS basically is national, the National Testing, testing service. service. And so you, in order to take the test, uh, you have to apply uh, there as well. Apply there, it's the application process online. So you have to apply there. And then there's an offline as well. Offline means you have to go to TCS and you have to pay order. And uh, documents. But what you have to do is admit card for your exam. Apart from that, these are all the documents we are going to tell you about. They are for the DAO. Or JSMU or any other medical college you apply. Say it. So Rafi, let's start. Uh, you need the birth certificate of Say it. Yeah. You need the birth certificate. Uh, you need photo. Uh, you need the uh, try. Make sure to get photocopies of your metric certificates and your O level certificates. O level equivalents. O level equivalency as so well as your certificate. Yeah. O level your certificate result jo aata hai. Result and as well as your certificate. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you guys have been. Uh, I think someone asked us, okay, do we have some have to submit O level equivalency with yes, DAO? Say yes. Uska aapko photocopy jamma karwani hoti hai. Okay. And next is uh, uh, job ab application form lete hain. So uske saath hi there is a certificate they gave you. Aapko is school se apne O level school se aur aapko apne A levels mein bhi wo fill karwana hota hai. Sahi hai. Sign karwani hoti hai aapke principal ki. Okay, yeah, you are a good student there. So make sure you visit your O level school, matric school, or drop to college or A level inter. Ek the papu jano be in dono jagao be to get it attested from the principal. Say it? Yeah. So, uh, okay, you need photocopies of your metric O level and your o -O metric certificates, O level certificate, A level certificate, inter certificates, okay? As long, as long and if you're an A-level student, you need photocopies of your equivalencies. Yeah. Uh, speaking from personal experience, I would say make photocopies in excess, okay? Because you're gonna have to apply to many places. In order to apply to Dow, you need to make a separate, different set of certificates. In order to apply to SMC, you're gonna need a different set of uh, certificates. And if you're applying to KMDC just as a backup, you're gonna need a different set of certificates. So I would say photocopy in excess and get them attested all from the school you've attended? Uh, from any government official. Yeah, so from any government it. official. But then for A-level and O-level certificate, I think you have to get it tested from your college. From your college? Yeah. So instead of going there over and over again, it's a, it's a you press, time is precious right now. Yeah, first photocopies and then in one go get them all tested. Yeah, that's it. Right. Besides that, these are all your academic certificates. Then there is that your domicile is right. Your uh, domicile. Yeah, your domicile, your father or any other guardian's domicile. Say it. If someone's father is not alive, say it. So, unka death certificate, say it. Because of course, then you will be submitting any other person's domicile, like your mom's or any other guardian. Say it. So, wait, what was this again? Your own domicile, your parents, your guardian's domicile. Say it. Yeah. So, you need photocopies of those as well as the original. So, make sure to get them attested and have them made. If you don't have it made, you may have it made. Achha. Apart from that, your CNIC copy, say it. And if you're underage or under 18 or you don't, you don't have a CNIC, then the B form you get, ski photo copy. Say it. And CNIC of father, say it. Ski photo copies issued from another with permanent address of sin. Say it. And what, uh, one last thing, uh, which is very important. Uh, speaking from personal experience, have at least like get as many passport pictures made Bees as Chavez Yeah, like, get it made because you're gonna need a lot and you're okay. gonna run out of them. Yeah, say so, yeah, I remember many 20 pictures when I the egg woman. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of and you have to get like in, I don't know how you guys will figure this out after the forms are come out. You also have to get your passport uh, pictures attested. Passport pictures be okay, and one by one pictures okay. Yeah, will be. Who so what happened to me was, you know the passport picture, I got them attested and then I kept them in the envelope. When I got home, it turned out the stamp was all over the pictures. So I yeah. had to go again. 
So yeah. make sure to dry it under the yeah. fan before putting and it. Make sure whatever the passport size pictures you give, they are recent and you look good in them. Because look at Hamza's. This is Hamza's current passport picture. Uh, let yeah. it focus. Yeah, that's him. That's 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 what's gonna last for five years. Yeah. So one thing, uh, get many passport pictures attested. Okay. And regarding the specific quantity, how many you need, we 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 don't remember as well. Yeah. We can only uh, you guys would find out once a form comes out. So until then, we won't say that. Oh, we don't want to. Twenty of the passport yeah, We don't, we don't want. We don't want people to be like, oh, you told us to make three, three passport pictures we and we need up. ten. Okay. So we're just, we're not giving a specific Achha. amount. Achha, ek chiz badan, we'll get the PRC. Yeah. Domicile ke saath saath, the candidate has to submit a photocopy of his PRC. Yeah. Say it. And if kuch alag circumstances mein kuch alag cheeze hoti hain. Like for example, if uh, you are an overseas Pakistani student, then the, you should submit the proof of your father working outside Pakistan. Say it from the embassy or, or consulate of Pakistan. If you are a Hafiz al Quran and applying for that seat, you get Hafiz al Quran, they get one extra mark. Say it. I think 11. Uh, yeah, 10 year 11 extra marks. 10 year 11 extra marks. Mark. Oh. 10 year 11 extra marks on the NTS. Yes. So, so, yeah. so for that, for confirmation, ke liye you need three photocopies of Hafiz al Quran certificate. Or and if you're a disabled student, you need a certificate of disability. Is the photocopy. Yeah. So, 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 okay, so uh, that was the document video. I hope it helped. Uh, make sure to share, subscribe, and like. And yeah. our Instagrams are down below. Best of luck. Yeah, best of luck. This guy says you best of luck.